Okay, hello. Um, maybe this recording is not that interesting to most of my subscribers. Um, I will talk a bit about broccoli. Romanesco broccoli. Why? Because it looks like a fractal. And uh, I'm going to read an article about it. So, I mean, uh, just a few parts of it and then I will do some little discussion. And uh, as you can see, so this is a good example of, of uh, a fractal, the self-similarity. You have something, you have uh, a shape which is reused and, uh, and again, and uh, you can see uh, it's the same within as without. You see, as within, so without. That's basically a fractal. When it's the same here and here, right? Uh, so, um, yeah. Maybe this video is becoming better, better than I thought. Maybe so. But okay, I will not destroy it now. Um, so. Um, before we, uh, before it gets interesting here. Um, so let's see. Yeah. So I'll, I will read a bit about it. I will leave a link to, a, to an article. Uh, but I, I found the most interesting parts of the article. So you don't have to look through it yourself if you don't want to. Um, so the article, it describes how this um, Romanesco, Romanesco broccoli, how it is, um, how it is created, okay? So Romanesco broccoli, it is a result of uh, flower buds that actually fail to become flowers. So these buds become shoots that make new flowers, which also fails. Uh, fail, I mean. <laughs> uh, and the process is repeated again and again in a sort of chain reaction. And um, what I think here, because I have, I have um, through my process of understanding things. I have a decided a few things for myself. One thing is um, the, the thing that is known as the flower of life. I consider it to be the flower of death because a flower is a result of something that is dying. Something that is dying needs to have flowers to uh, yeah that's the purpose the purpose of a flower is to prepare for death actually if if something wouldn't die it wouldn't need a flower to re reproduce basically um so yeah so what what I think this is, so I'm, I'm already beginning to interpret things here, which can seem a bit weird, uh, but why not? Um, so how I see it is that, so first of all, I consider this, this uh, Romanesco broccoli to be an excellent example of a fractal. I mean, it's probably the best one you can find in nature. So why not try to understand why it is like it is? So, yeah, um, there is something that fails to, uh, to, um, to die, I guess. I mean, if there is no flowers, there is no death. And this is also here. Right. Um, the organism itself is just growing and growing and growing 
Like, uh, and it's becoming a fractal. Instead of having a flower and the flower is dying or becoming a fruit, um, it will continue to grow. Uh, okay. So here's also something I find very interesting. The researchers say that they start to lose their identity. Um, so I'll read a bit here because I don't really understand how they got there. While we still don't have the, all the answers, we do now know the biological mechanism through, through which the fractal form. Parsi and his colleagues studied the genes involved and built a 3D computational model of plant development to explain how this happens. They start as flowers, then lose their identity. If you can imagine a fractal, <laughs> a firework, it explodes and makes light. It's like if each of them was exploding again and again. And what you get, the structure of this cauliflower, is the result of all of those consequential, uh, consecutive explosions. So, the flowers are um, uh, somehow loses their identity. And uh, I think this is somewhat similar to, yeah, I think that, I mean, if we compare this to staring into the abyss, you know, when you search for abyss, you will find some people asked in, in the chat, what is the abyss? Because I talked about the abyss. Uh, so the abyss is, um, I guess, uh, maybe it is the fractal, right? Um, that's a good way of seeing it, I think. Like, the world uh, that we see with our regular eyes is a smokescreen. And beneath or behind or maybe straight uh, in your face is the fractal but maybe you just train you train yourself not to see it <laughs> maybe because why would you want to see it i think it's like that actually why would you want to see it and maybe we start off by seeing everything and we just evolve to not see it because it's too tough to see it i think so maybe but okay, so, and I also mentioned that when you stare into this abyss, the abyss stares into you. And I guess that you lose your identity. And, I mean, wh what are you? What, what am I? Who am I? Um, so I knew myself as Christopher before right but who am i now i don't know not the same person anymore um so and there's a loss of identity and you can also see this in, in how in some of this because this is strongly connected to to uh rabbit holes, researching rabbit holes. And uh, one rabbit hole is the I identity thing to uh, um, get uh, past this first name, last name uh, in big caps uh, to be to not, not, not to be, uh, 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 how do you say, uh, not, not to be a, a citizen 
ship, not to be a ship, you know, uh, in, in this... Um, not to be a corporation or, or whatever it's or to be a part of that you do understand what i mean right uh, so that's one rabbit hole one of the actual rabbit holes are guiding you to lose your identity uh, the rabbit holes themselves are guiding you the way there and i think that's I think that's so basically what the rabbit holes are teaching you and me is to not identify with a name, at least me. And uh, I know that many others have the same view, that why have a name? Uh, what, what are you? What am I? Uh, I am, uh, I am a, a man or maybe even better, I am an animal. Maybe that's the best way of seeing it, that I'm an animal. And that also correlates, correlates and connects very well to the anima, uh, which is Latin and means soul. Anima, animal, you know? So the rabbit holes themselves are guiding you into the same behavior of that this broccoli plant has with losing the identity uh, and you become a fractal or the fractal stares into you the abyss stares into you you the re, you research these rabbit holes and you um, change into that or something um, so This singer, Broccoli, Broccoli, you see, it is uh, almost the same as Broccoli, and uh, Romanesco Broccoli, which is this with a fractal, you know, Romanesco is also a dialect in Italy, and you know, Bro, bro, broselli or broccoli he is an italian tenor so you could ask yourself how much is this actually a fractal and besides this he's blind he's blind and he can only see with his eye he has inside here right and that connects to something uh, bigger probably on him um, and we again get to the something I can't get I can't just ignore it because it's also I like to tie together all the fractal patterns you know that's what I like to do so we oh so we get uh, we get no Sibo because he cannot see we get there again, the, 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 the no seeing, and uh, and this also in some way ties together with um, the, there's this idea in Gnosticism about, uh, you can search on it on internet, I recommend you to do it, uh, blind idiot god. And that's an idea that God is blind. And God is... Uh, to start, <laughs> the idea is that God is an idiot, okay? And it's a blind idiot, but... Yeah, interesting, right? Um, so... Yeah. So yeah, I just, just wanted to talk a bit about broccoli, I guess. And uh, didn't know what it would be really about, but now I did it. And uh, so, some broccoli. Have a good evening. Bye bye.